Why do substances change state? To find out, we need to consider what happens to the particles within them. When substances are heated, the particles gain energy and move more. Melting. Melting happens because particles in the solid start to vibrate more. Eventually, the movement is so strong that the attraction between particles can no longer keep them in fixed positions. The particles begin to move around each other, allowing the substance to flow. The solid has turned into a liquid. Evaporation. Evaporation happens because particles in the liquid speed up. Eventually, the particles move so fast that the attraction between them can't keep them together. The particles spread out and fill the whole space. The liquid has turned into a gas. When substances are cooled, the particles lose energy and move less. Condensation. Condensation happens because particles in the gas slow down. Eventually, the particles bump into each other and stick together because they are attracted. Their slow movement is not strong enough to break them apart again. The gas has turned into a liquid. Solidification. Solidification happens because particles in the liquid slow down and vibrate less. Eventually, the particles slow down enough that they stick to the particles around them. This holds them in fixed positions. The liquid has turned into a solid. In conclusion, it's the amount of energy that particles have that determines whether a substance will change in state. Gaining energy causes particles to move more and losing energy causes them to move less.